What's up guys? I'm going on a trip to Iceland. This is my bag. So I'll show you guys everything that I carry on a regular basis and a couple of the extra things that I'm bringing, including what I'm filming on right now, which is the GoPro Hero 7 black. Cool? Cool. Alright, so when packing, I got, I actually just got this, so I love Chrome, they make great bags, really durable, practical. This one was like a collaboration with uh, Trash Hand, if you don't follow Trash Hand, you need to, it's a really good street photographer, but he helped design this one, it's really nifty, it got pockets everywhere, place to put a tripod water bottle when you want one and then the nice thing opens from the back see I got some stuff in here already I just reconfigured this whole thing this morning so yeah um, it's got a chest strap it's got a waist strap that's handy when you don't want to put your bag down um, and then on the outside of the bag I got a peak design thing for my camera so that's nice so next what I configured in here is for film uh, this is just a quick little instax thing because it's always fun to have like a little like physical photo with you and it's nice because they're literally instant so that goes oh, that goes right here slides in perfect grab it easy extra film because there's only 10 per thing. So, going right there. And then, moving on. And then, batteries. Love hate relationship. So no one likes to charge them and replace them and all that stuff. So, there are all my batteries here. I've got GoPro on this side. And my Sony, Sony I think it was a Z battery or something like that. Um, I have two of them, one in my camera. One is on a charger. Charger goes and fits in this pocket as well. And then right above that, I got my hard drives. Got a two terabyte hard drive here, and then a Samsung 500 gig hard drive, because it's gonna take a lot of stuff. It's icing. So, moving on. Next one is drone. I just got the Mavic 2 Pro. Some people are kind of iffy-ish on it. I love it because I use, I use mostly HLG, like my Sony, and the colors match darn close. I won't say perfect, but it's, you can't really see unless you're like trying to pick it out, which most of my clients aren't. So we got that, that slides in right here. And then I will say one thing that I absolutely love about it is the controller these little toggles go inside. Thank you, DJI. That is amazing. And that just goes right on top of it. And then I just picked up a, I'm gonna say cheap, but apparently it's a pro filter. I just saw the pro thing. And it's a ND4, so that just goes right on top. But I actually just tucked that on top of my my film, so tuck it away. Next, got a bunch of miscellaneous things that go in the bottom pocket because I don't need them right out the gate. A little Apple wall charger that I use for pretty much everything. Um, got a variable ND 67 millimeter. And let's see. I've only used this light like two to three times, but it is so handy because it comes in a little pouch from Aperture. They freaking make everything. Comes with its own USB, organized. And then comes the little foils and things. I always leave the little soft diffuser on it. But it's the M9. Yeah, that thing. Because it's really handy. It charges USB. Everyone has USB. You bring those just in case anyways. So, tucks away in there. And then, Got an extra drone battery and 
obviously the charger. And that goes in that bottom pouch. So some batteries and hard drives go here. I call this my junk drawer. Because all the junk just goes. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna swap this with the batteries because I always reach for the batteries first. But I just got miscellaneous things like uh, the Nomad USB-C cable, rugged, so you're definitely not gonna break this thing. A micro USB cable, because a lot of the chargers that I use I use micro USB for some reason. Extra drone propellers, um, more SD cards, the door, extra door for a GoPro, um, SD card case for my swap, lens cleaner, and cleaner. Okay, next is all my run and gun stuff that I use for every single video. Um, I have my Tamron 24-70 G2. This thing is a beast, really sharp, but nice. Um, it's got image stabilization, thank you. That comes in a lot of handy, especially when I'm using my Canon, which is gonna be in my girlfriend's bag. It's not gonna be in this bag. Um, that does not have the best stabilization. And then when you throw a lens on like this, you can't use both st stabilizations, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why Canon did that. So you have to use this one or the in-body, which I like, no crop. So a 24 is a 24 and 70 is a 70. So I just use the stabilization on this lens. It's really good anyways. So G2, not G1. G1 is kind of iffy-ish. It's all right. Um, this one is also really weather sealed. So that comes in handy, especially when going to a place like this one. So far the weather says it's going to be rainy sometimes and one day it's supposed to snow. And I like this little lens lock feature. Yes. And then onto the camera body, I use the A7R III. Um, love this camera. Color is amazing. Um, when people brag on skin tone and stuff like that, I blame it on the photographer because a lot of the time, like, if it's photos, it if it's photos, I blame it on the photographer because you can easily tweak any of those colors. Piece of cake. And then when it comes to video, not so much. Skin tones on video, really hard to change without screwing everything up. So photographers, no excuse. Videographers, I sympathize. But with video, skin tones on this, as, we, as you've seen in my videos, they look great in my opinion. Um, so, image stabilized, can and get on it. Um, that goes right in the top section right here so I can grab it when I need it. I don't have to set my whole bag down. And yes, I got a Peak Design strap. Also, the capture clip. Genius invention. It helps a lot because I like to climb a lot of things. So, there's that goes there. So as you can see, everything fits nice carp compartmentalized. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. All nice, neat. Nothing's hard to get to. Unless I don't need it like the film right away. I can always grab that. That's a piece of cake. So yeah. Alright, so next is laptop. Mine is heavily stickered, so no it's mine. Um, 15 inch MacBook Pro last year's. Um, it is pretty much decked out, got a terabyte on it. And this just lays perfectly on the side, slides right in. I always lift that little lip up. Slips right up. Nice and soft. Put this charger in the top pocket along with this little adapter if you use an iPad and MacBook. I don't know why I wanted to say iPad. If you use MacBook, this thing is a lifesaver. 
takes up two of the USB-C ports, but gives you SD card, micro SD card, two, or two USB-C ports, and two USB-3 ports. Super handy. Tripod and gimbal are next. We got the Ronin S. I just got it and I'm still getting used to using that gimbal, but so far it works great. The little tripod thing when balancing is really handy. So I use this. Set it down gently. I use this in my water bottle pocket so that way I don't lose anything. It goes towards the front. To the side, everything checks nice and neat. I think I had it this way. We'll find out. Yeah, it just goes over and buckles. Does it move? Tripod, open up the front leg. Boom, tripod and gimbal. <laughs> These are the last two things I use. Flashlight, always handy. And then I got a bobble for filtered water. So yeah, it's always good to stay hydrated. That's in my camera bag. Um, that's literally everything that I use besides my Canon 6D Mark II. Um, my girlfriend's using that for this trip. And then my Sigma 35 14 is another lens I use all the time, but we usually just kind of toss it back and forth along with the 24 to 70. And that's all I use. So, yeah, and then I get to try out this new GoPro. Um, let me know how you think this looks in the comments below. Um, I like it so far. I'm ready to try out the uh, Time Warp. I don't know why they named it that. Could have just said Hyperlapse, that's fine. But whatever, yeah. So here we go.